Hello everyone and welcome back. Hope you're doing all, all right. We're looking at question 10 now on our 2017-2018 part 1 paper. In the trapezoid ABCD with AD parallel to BC, the diagonals intersect at O. Let's, let's start drawing a picture here. A, D, we'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll count, uh, go, we'll go counterclockwise there. And then our diagonals here intersect at O. Okay. Uh, if the area of AOD is uh, 9 sixteenths, uh, so it looks like I gave that the short side, so we'll, we'll change it to A, B, C, D. There's uh, our O, so down here is 9 sixteenths, a little over half of the whole thing. Uh, of, the, uh, of the trapezoid, then the ratio of the areas of AOD and BOC is equal to... Oh, okay. So we want to know the ratio of this one and this one. Okay. So the 9 sixteenths, um, what can we... Can we see here? What can we do here? Well, there's not a whole lot that we know. I'm going to move O over here, if that's all right with you. But uh, we got a trapezoid here. One thing we can say for certain, um, since the sides are parallel, this angle here is going to be the same as this angle here. This angle here going to be the same as this angle here. And because they're opposite sides of intersection, we got this angle here is going to be the same as this angle here. Now, um, that to me suggests, so if we call maybe this A and this B and this C, then that suggests that there's some R, so this is RA, this is RC, because it's got a, it's the, the green dot to blue dot side, and this is RB. I have no idea what R is, but that's okay. Um, but... Uh, if the sides ha are, are to get to this big one or bigger triangle, uh, if the sides are all uh, multiplied by R, it means that the area is multiplied by R squared. This is a nice property. I, I mention every basically every time we do similar triangles, almost. Okay, so the area of AOD is R squared times the area of BOC. So I just really need to know what this R is going to be. Okay. So what can we do? Well, we've got another sort of little bit of information here. We know this triangle here, if I gave it a height and kept going. So actually, if we if we call the little height of this triangle here, all lengths, not just side lengths, are multiplied by R when we, we scale up. So we get the height of this bottom triangle is RH. So the height of the whole trapezoid, in terms of h, is r plus 1 times h. We have a top here of a and a bottom here of ra. We can get the area of the whole trapezoid. Okay. Okay. So the area of the trapezoid is 1 half the sum of the uh, top and bottom times the height, okay? And so we can get one half a h, and we can take out two factors of r plus one squared, okay? Now how does that help us? Well, in terms of r a and r h, we've got a base and a height for this triangle, um, and we've also got an h and a base a here. So a o d is r squared times one half a h, the area of the whole thing is 1 half AH times R plus 1 squared. And of course, BOC just has an area of 1 half AH. Where am I going with this? Well, we know that triangle AOD, which has this area, is 9 sixteenths of the whole thing, which has this area. So now if I divide the 1 half AH out, I'll get R squared over R plus 1 squared. 
which I guess we could just say is r over r plus 1 squared is 9 over 16. But 9 over 16 is 3 fourths squared. So r over r plus a is 3 over 4. And if it's not immediately obvious that r is got to be 3, you can multiply both sides by 4 and multiply both sides by r plus 1 and realize uh, that 1r is going to be 3. Okay, So now I know what r is. So oh, we've moved. There we go. Uh, so this triangle got blown up by 3 times. Everything, every side is stretched three times, so the area has gone up by a factor of nine. Oh, I hate it when the software jumps around like this. Oh well, we'll just uh, continue on where we were. We know all the important numbers. So we know that uh, triangle AOD is nine sixteenths of the full area, but BOC is. Well, this is also nine times triangle, the area of triangle BOC. So BOC has an area of one sixteenth, nine sixteenths, one sixteenth of the full trapezoid. So we'll say we we'll use our little trapezoid symbol here. Now, what did we want? We wanted the area of AOD to BOC. And that one over that one, and we get 9 sixteenths over 1 sixteenth. These denominators cancel out. 9 over 1, better known as 9. So uh, the ratio here would be 9 to 1, or the way they've written it on this contest, we're just looking for 9. Well, there we go, C. And uh, we'll fix uh, the software here, but we'll get a fresh sheet of paper for uh, question 11. We'll come back and take a look at that in the next video.